Hello, I'm Jono from Mozilla Labs, and in support of the uh, Game On 2010 contest, I've been doing a lot of experimentation with new HTML5 tricks and other cool web programming techniques that are useful for game development. Uh, what I'm going to show you today is not a game, but it uses techniques that are probably of interest uh, for making games. It is a drawing program that I've been writing in my spare time called Pencil Box. And it makes a lot of use of the multi-touch features that the Firefox 4 beta is uh, beginning to expose to web content. All right, so I've got this um, this uh, Fujitsu Windows laptop with a screen that flips around and folds down onto the side to become a tablet, and it's got this stylus. And it's hardware that supports multi-touch, so it seemed like a good opportunity to start experimenting with the possibilities of using uh, multi-touch UI to make a better drawing program and doing it as a web application now that HTML5 makes that kind of thing feasible. So uh, let me show you how it works. Okay, so um, this is just an HTML page that's just running in the Firefox 4 beta. And I, I've got a stylus here, so I can, uh, I can start drawing stuff on the screen. And then I can take my fingers and pinch it to zoom out, zoom in, pan it around. So this is done by having the canvas element listen for the Moz Touch Down, Moz Touch Move, and Moz Touch Up events. Um, so far, so good. I mean, that's pretty standard stuff. So any drawing program needs lots of tools. And I have made the tool menu over here on the left side. And it uses a pie menu style of interaction where uh, the menu appears directly underneath wherever you touch. And the cool thing about that is that I can be over here drawing with my stylus, and then if I need, say, the eraser tool, I just hit anywhere with my left thumb. I know that I move up to get to the eraser uh, because it's a, it's a never-changing gesture, and therefore it's easy to form a habit there. And now I've got my eraser tool, and I can start erasing. Um, if that eraser is too small, I can, of course, do a pinch gesture over here in the tool area to change the size, get a honking big eraser. Um, and then when I want to go back to the pencil, I know it's just a gesture like that with my thumb, and I've got the pencil again. Um, so that's pretty cool. It means that I can keep my pen and my eyeballs over here on the content of my drawing while switching tools with my left hand. Um, the other cool thing that HTML5 made it really easy to do is layers. And um, as we all know, layers are pretty much essential to any serious drawing program that's going to be more than a toy. Um, let me just clear this stuff out. So I made another grid menu that you can double tap a selection in order to do selection type operations. So I'm just going to clear that. And let's, uh, let's start doing a multi-layered drawing just to show you how it could work. Um, I'm going to do a super crappy drawing of like a sperm whale and a giant squid doing battle in the inky depths of the ocean. So we're going to put uh, the whale on this layer here. It's going to be draw, big head. Draw. And this is, I'm not uh, showing off my artistic skills here. I mainly just want to show off the UI. So this is going to be a super crappy drawing. And he's got jaggedy teeth because he's a toothed whale and not a baleen whale. He's got a blowhole up there. Okay, cool. And so now I want to put the, uh, the squid on another layer. So I'm going to go new layer, pick this other layer. And now, of course, if I uncheck the whale layer, that'll disappear. And I'm drawing on my new layer, and I've got, like, squid... Um, Squid eyeball, squid tentacles, rawr, rawr. I'll rip out your ambergris. Rawr. That's a really bad squid drawing. Okay, whatever. Um, and the cool thing now is if I check down here, you know, squid's gone, whale's gone. So we've got layers. So I did this just by um, stacking multiple canvas elements on top of each other in the HTML page using the CSS Z index property to do control which one comes up in front. And so it's we, we basically get the layering for free because the canvas layers are by default transparent. And so you can see through to the one underneath. And just by 
introducing a new canvas element to the page, we can introduce a new layer. The only tricky part comes when we want to export the image, and luckily, Canvas supports a, an operation called uh, dot .toData URL, which will return um, a data URL representation of the Canvas contents in PNG format, which is, which is really nice because it's just a string of text that encodes a PNG. So you can then upload that to the server using uh, XML HTTP request, you can upload several of these strings, one for each Canvas layer that you want to composite, and then on the server, a small Python script takes them all, saves each one as a temporary file, and then uses the Python image library to composite them using the alpha channel for transparency. So you can see the result here. My server sends me back a link to the PNG file. I can click that, and ta-da, here is my finished image. Um, and what's cool is that if this is something I want to put on my website, it's already up on the server, so no need to upload it. Um, I could show you a lot of the other tools that I've added, the colors, the um, thing that parses a script and turns each line of it into cartoon speech bubbles uh, for making web comics. But I think you get the idea. And the points that I really wanted to make with this demo are that, one, it's no longer a crazy idea to try to do a serious drawing tool as a web app. Uh, number two, that Canvas is insanely powerful and lets you do all sorts of cool stuff. Uh, three, that you can layer canvases to do even more amazing stuff with layering. And four, that the multi-touch APIs that Firefox 4 Beta is starting to expose to web content now are a, a door to a whole new world of user interface experimentation that we can start to do. And so far, I've only tested pencil blocks on Firefox 4 beta on Windows 7, so its reach is somewhat limited yet because all of these things are still experimental and not quite mainstream. But over the next few years, I'm sure that we're going to get the multi-touch events on all platforms, all browsers, more hardware is going to start supporting it, it's going to become more standardized across browsers, and I'm really excited for the world of... Uh, rich, multi-touch, UI-based web apps. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing all the cool stuff that people are going to do with that. So if you are interested in using any of my code for your Game On 2010 game programming, um, you're welcome to it. I'm putting it all up on my website under an MPL open source try license. You can grab it from the link that I'll put after this video, uh, take it and use it. And uh, good luck with your Game On entry. It is, what, early December now? You've got until January. Uh, make something amazing. Bye. Thanks for watching.